Hey guys, it's Aphrodite, and I'm back with a new video. That. Okay. <laughs> I'm not good with these intros, but a while back I posted a video on how to animate on Clip Studio Paint because it was a struggle for me at the time, and I thought I would help some people. But whenever I look back at that video, it's pretty bad. And. Now that I've started uploading more animation memes and I'm starting the monster series, I wanted to show my new skills. So, we have to start uh, by going to the file in the top left corner of your screen. Press new, then you click the animation and you can set it to however you want here and all the numbers. Uh, which is another thing I can't explain very well. Okay, so now that we have this open, Clip Studio Paint only allows uh, <laughs> only allows about 24, 25, um, whatever you would call these. Called, uh, I don't know what you would call them, files. But what I realized is. Down here at the very bottom is the paper, and so you can grab onto this little black line and extend it however far you need it to. And if you don't want to extend it or just move it over, you don't have you just grab it again, but not by the black line. I'm going to stretch it out to where I have my length. And what I didn't realize before is that there are layers in clips you paint you just have to have them in different hmm animation folders so we can call these files cuz this so we're gonna do the running animation again so we can have our character we can either you can do front or sideways however you want just make sure that you can do it so, whenever we're doing a running, you have to make sure that the arm that's going forward, the leg that goes along with that arm, is going the opposite way. So, let's do that. And what I don't think I knew how to do in the last time I did this was changing the uh, frame rate. So, you see the timeline thing at the top left of your timeline and animation spot where you animate everything. Uh, there's a little box and you press timeline and then change frame rate and you can change it to whatever you like. We're gonna leave it at 7 for now. And over here there are zoom in, zoom out for your animation area and then you know the normal zoom in zoom out for the animation paper <laughs> I'm making up names for all of these you can have your own names so I found a way of copying and pasting but it's on laptop and computers I don't know if Clip Studio Paint can be on phones or not so down here there's a little what would you call this a little picture of a file or so with a little star next to it you press that to get the new animation cell and then you go to layer select delete layer and then hold down control while selected on your previous file whatever you call it and then control V and then you have your previous thing there and it's you can edit it without changing the first one so you can move this arm back a little bit and then this one can come forward and don't it doesn't matter how horrible your sketch is because 
whenever you add details it's going to look much better. I often struggle with my sketches because it won't look right, but that's because if we take off onion skin, you can't hardly see what's an arm, and if that's bothering me, I'll just get a slightly darker shade and go over that. Also, I probably didn't even mention the onion skin, but down here next to all of our little pink and white file things, we have enable onion skin, which lets you see the previous layer so you can see how much you've edited. And sometimes let's say we wanted to copy and paste number one but number two is there so we go as normal you know control c control v but it doesn't show up that's because of this blocking the way so what you go what you do is go to here which is the specify cells and in the previous video people said i couldn't uh they couldn't see my cursor, so I'm trying to hold it over the spot so they can see it light up. But I'm going to click 1A because that's the second version of 1. But since I don't need it, I'm going to just delete that again. Control C, Control V. Didn't work. So we select 3, and then there's our previous layer. And the faster the uh, frame rate, the more little corrections you have to put onto your animation. Because if you have, let's say, what I'm doing, 7, you have to do, you know, medium. But if you have something like 5 or 3, you can just go from probably here to here to here. But I'm going here. Well, you probably can't see my cursor. Um, so I'd say if you're at medium, you kind of put four or five corrections. If you're doing higher than a medium-ish number, it would be more than that. And if you're doing a lower number, it would be slower. So you'd have to add, you can add, you don't have to add less uh, corrections, but that's just how I know it. So I didn't edit this leg yet because we can see from the onion skin. So I'm gonna go ahead. No, 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 no. So I'm gonna go ahead and move that leg a little bit more and what I like to do is select well not select that's the wrong word uh, is to edit different parts at different times so maybe try to do arms and legs first and then you can go on to shoulder and head and then you can do hair and with the different file thing, you can add as many layers as you want uh, to... Well, here, here's an example to ex try and explain what I'm trying to say. So you can... If you're struggling with keeping the same line of the head, you can put the hair on a different layer so you don't have to worry about erasing a face that you drew or uh, the head shape and it doesn't look funny so you can just put a hair on a different layer and then color can go all in one layer or different layers it doesn't matter however you want to do it so now we've got it going forward and you can do this or you go from this <laughs> I'm saying this again so we have number four and then we go to specify cells, click 3, and we have to have it selected on the area that we want it to appear in. And then we do this. But, we select it, we go here, this is why we do control C, control V to, con to make changes, because, uh, as you can see, they are the exact same, and if I do this, it gets that too. So you can't correct one file whenever they're the same file. 
if that makes sense. So we have three now. We're also going to do 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 two. But since we have one over here, I'm just going to drag this in, and then I'm going to put loop play on, so I don't have to have a million of these going on forever. And it looks a little funny, so let's try and fix that. So if we see here, her arm doesn't move. So let's move her arm a little more, and... Where's her other arm? Exactly. So, this is what I mean by your sketch can be very messy. You can hardly tell what's what. So now let's play it. Looks a little better, right? And now we can start adding uh, more movement. So, let's actually cancel that. So whenever you're running, whenever one foot touches the ground, you push off and you go high. So, let's see. This is the right foot and that's the left foot and it's pushing off. So, we're going to move it up slightly. We're going to go slightly higher. And then try to go down a little bit. While that right foot is coming forward, and when the right foot hits, it's going to go up. Except now we have to make it come down a lot faster since number one is coming up where she hits the ground again. So now let's play that. Eh, it's going a little fast. So that means we should probably turn the frame rate down. Let's try one down and do a six. Nope. So let's try smaller corrections in the height. Hmm. And whenever you're, oh, it went silent for a while. Whenever you do the final sketch of what the body's gonna look like, you don't have to follow the body exactly. And maybe I can tilt the body a little bit, and it'll make it look more like she is running. Might work. Well, looks like I don't have my magic touch today with the running. But since I did running the last time, I want to try something different with a wave. Alright, so we delete our layer, and control C, control V, and the reason why I delete the layer is so I don't have to go to the specify cells every single time.
alright? And this is what I mean by the sketches and everything. That's why I'm saying it looks alright. So now, we can add a sketch. And I might fast forward this or pause so that you don't have to watch me sketch it out the whole time. And here's the sketch. So now we can delete that. Control C, Control B. <laughs> Gone over this a few times. And we Then we can take away the sketch. Looks a little bad. <laughs> sketch kind of takes away some of the details or shows more. So we can go down here, choose a dark color that you can tell the difference between. Then you can start to color in your character. And here's it colored in. It really helps whenever you can use the control C, control V with coloring. Because then you can just edit the smallest things and not have to recolor the whole thing. It's definitely not my best animation, but that's because I'm trying not to make this video an hour long. It's already re- The outro, but I had to mention another thing, of course. Well, as I said again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I enjoyed making it because I'm trying my best to help out with things that I'm learning as I'm animating. So, if you have any other questions about animating on Clip Studio Paint, you can let me know in the comments and I will be happy to answer them if I have the answers. Um, so, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.